What's up everybody? Pomage Bog and God bless. I'm the Duke of Johannesburg and welcome to my channel. Basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to list my own personal top five favorite Christian Orthodox bands and along with a couple of honorable mentions that I've thrown in for good measure. Keeping in mind that um, all of these bands range and vary quite vastly in so far as style and degrees of heaviness but I have a fairly eclectic taste in music myself and um, yeah I'll just say that the only real commonality shared between any of these bands is sharing in our holy Catholic and apostolic faith that is Orthodox Christianity so without any further ado let's begin band number five Besme is Nad. They're a Serbian hard rock band, and quite honestly, some of their songs are actually fairly hit or miss. But the songs that hit really, really hit. So I recommend the song Istok Savisine, which basically means the East from above, and Uslishinas Bojenash, which means Hear Us Our God. Actually, the former of those two songs is pretty much my favorite song at the moment and definitely a staple on my gym playlist. And uh, they also have a very good song dedicated to Sveti Jovan Vladimir, St. John Vladimir. Though I have to warn that um, it is featuring a female traditional Serbian vocalist. And I do understand that a lot of Serbian folk music and the Serbian style of singing is not exactly everybody's favorite thing to listen to, but it is mine. Um, as I said, the eclectic music taste. So keep that in mind when you look them up. Band number four is a band called Akathist, featuring Brother Augustine. Uh, Brother Augustine is a great Orthodox content creator. You probably know him, you probably know of him. And um, yeah, he's a former Jewish Freemason, converted to Orthodox Christianity. And, you know, in his own words, you really love to see it. So it's not exactly my style of music, kind of a sort of uh, hard rock verging on classic rock verging on um, ballad style of music, but I do have to say that it is really, really well done. Um, they have great lyrics, great vocals, and a message that really embodies our orthodox phronema, so definitely a band that makes the list. Band number three, Pirk. They're another Serbian group. Um, the main vocalist is actually a monk who is a friend of a very dear friend of mine who's actually the wife of the local Serbian priest here in Johannesburg. And I definitely recommend the song Ne Od Ovog Sveta, which means not of this world. Now, most of their songs are actually a cappella vocal songs, and um, some of them feature guitar and other instruments, and a lot of them actually feature. Serbian traditional instruments, but um, excellent, excellent music, and the intro song to this channel is actually by them, a song called Zemli So, which actually means salt of the earth, and yeah, very, very beautiful song. It's really great music, and if you love Orthodox Christian chant, but you want something a little bit different that you can listen to in the car or on the way to church or just to wind down after a hard day's work, I definitely recommend them. Band number two on the list, a band called Hezekist, or Hezekast, uh, depending on how you want to pronounce that. Uh, they're a black metal band and I understand that's definitely not everybody's cup of tea and definitely usually not mine either. I'm actually definitely not a regular fan of, of that style of music. But, um, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm pretty much open to all forms of music, anything from classic music to rap to deathcore. But, obviously, I find, um, you know, some of the stuff on the rap or deathcore side a little bit difficult to listen to nowadays um, due to the lyrics and the content. But, Hezekast is a really skilled band, and they have some really good lyrics and really great imagery that also certainly embodies the orthodox phronema. 
Now before I hop on to number one, let's talk about some honorable mentions. Batyushka, not to be confused with the satanic Batushka from Poland that spout all sorts of disgusting blasphemies and have all sorts of sacrilegious and terrible imagery. Um, they're also a black metal band, uh, instrumental band, um, so no vocals and no lyrics, but great imagery and great song titles and definitely also very much embodying the sort of phronema that uh, one wants to be exposed to, to um, yeah, listen to great music without necessarily darkening the noose. Um, the second group on my honorable mentions is a group called Biograd Syndicat. And um, yeah, they're actually, a, they're really an excellent group. And the only reason that they are on honorable mentions instead of just being number one is because they're a rap group. <clears throat> which obviously I am a fan of. I used to uh, make some hip-hop music myself and I still make beats and that's a continued hobby of mine. And um, yeah, they're another Serbian group as you might be able to tell by the title. And um, they have some really, really excellent lyrics. Of course, the lyrics are in Serbian. Um, I recommend the songs Jedina Srpska um, it's actually featuring an excellent, excellent Serbian female vocalist that I definitely do recommend, uh, who goes by the name of Danica Cernogorcevic. Definitely, um, I recommend you to check her out. And um, the, the other song that I recommend is called Dogodine u Prizren, uh, Next Year in Prizren, which is a city in Kosovo. Kosovo je Srbiju. And um, yeah, it's just really great conscious hip-hop and a break from the usual degenerate nonsense that honestly, quite frankly, plagues that genre. Number one band on the list. Definitely number one in my opinion. Gospod. Gospod is a Russian atmospheric black metal band. And as far as I know, it's a one-man band um, where the drums and the guitar and vocals are actually performed by a Russian Orthodox priest. Definitely my favorite band on the list and I can't recommend the song Gluttony enough. Uh, definitely a staple constantly on my gym playlist and one of the many great songs on the album entitled The Main Sins of Humanity. Definitely, um, definitely something worth checking out, although it might not be everybody's favorite thing to listen to might be a little bit heavy for some but yeah they've quickly become my favorite band so that's it i hope that you enjoyed the video i hope that you enjoy at least one of these bands as much as i do like sub hit the bell and all the things that youtubers tell you to do and until next time boga pomagao god bless Duke of Johannesburg, out!